Everyone, welcome back to Bloodborne, the executioner build. It's time to go down to Old Yarnum and take down the blood starved beast. So that should be pretty large. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, he's dead. <clears throat> I guess this is like the most normal way you would go, even though it's uh, optional apparently. But I do like the blood starved beast, he's a bit of a challenge, you know, so. That should make it fun. I guess Yarnum was, well, the start of the game with Cleric Beast and Gascon were actually quite easy. So it would be quite fun to make it quite difficult, you know? But also, get to fight Dejura. We meet Alfred. It's going to be banging, man. Hello, gentlemen. Walk in your dog. Uh, yeah, line up, actually. Want a bit of this? He's feral. So this is that one bit. I remember dying. Oh. Put that away. You don't look like you're bailing hay, fam. I'm going to put that up my jappy. So. Uh. Yeah, there's stuff over here. So around here, there's like one guy who shoots you and just like two dogs come down. What I think is really funny about this bit is like, in your head, you're just like, um, this should be easy because it's only two dogs. And some shooty guy. The shooty guys are so easy in this game. But it's like nails. Yeah, that's the way in. We don't need to. Hello. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm all alone. I've died to this a few times. Oh, fuck. Now they're both coming at least. Sit. 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 He lay down. He's just sleeping. But yeah, it's really cool seeing Alfred. We can actually get Alfred to summon as well, which I might do, to be honest, because the health pools are going to be large no matter what. The Cleric Beast health pool was ridiculous, you know? We're here. Oh, man. I actually, like... Yeah. I can't wait to fight, like, Jujura again. I think the voice actor's, like, like really good, isn't he? Anyways... Oh, yeah. The man that started it all. Me being obsessed with this build. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ. But we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on, just tell me what piques your interest. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. If I'm honest with you, I really like having like the NPCs talk in my videos and like all the dialogue. And I really thought about the the lore dump there, but we'll do it later and stuff. I really wanted like just play for a bit. I always promise myself not to and just go play around and fight and stuff, but... The tomb. What? I thought he was, like, here. No? Alright. Yeah, we'll need some of these. I think when you get, like, 60, like, everything changes. I might be able to actually get that much. Torch time. Yeah, it definitely feels cooler than walking around your torch, does it? There's usually a werewolf in here, right? Are you in here? Oh. 
scared, are we? Ow. Is he just like really nails? Because I don't feel like the other werewolves were hard. Maybe it's just him. Or maybe this whole area will be hard. Ow. You'll always lose a poised battle to me, sir. There's a lot of buttons in this. <laughs> uh. So we do get we do get a lamp and stuff. I don't even know if there's anything worth getting around here, but I'll have a little look. Don't need to rest really. Oh, what we got? Oh yeah, because they want you to do that uh, sort of trick thing where... But... I'm not going to do that. I will if it's like really hard, but I don't want to. The town is long abandoned, hunters not wanted here. Well, here I come. Yeah, you can like throw the pungent block, uh, cocktail and then it like, goes over to it and it's like... <laughs> and then you just start slapping its ass. Here we go. He is a top shagger, let's be honest. You know, he sounds like that guy from uh, X-Men. I know he's in... Oops. He also plays uh, Hannibal Lecter in the old one as well. Very loud. Yeah, it's called Manhunter. It's the original Red Dragon film. He plays him in that, I believe. It's pretty good. He's no Anthony Hopkins, but he's still, like, a banging actor. But I think Anthony Hopkins is like, my favourite, anyways. The men of Paul's people are dead now. I feel like he had more lines, but he wants to be quiet. So there's two ways we can go. There's like a longer way, but it's not much longer. So I feel like being lazy and just getting straight to him and killing him. Because we could just come back. You are a skilled hunter. Adept. Okay, so anyways, yeah, there's a second way to go, but if we kill him first, we can explore that nicely. Or we'll just go, we'll just kill him and go blood stuff beast. I'm not, like, fussed about... Oh. Ah, it's, and so it begins, eh? Alright, we'll just jump down and we'll go around the long way. Shit. Ah, oh, the fucking crap. Oh. I wonder, will I dream? Well, 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 Tajura. It's time. I just ran past it all in the end. I went round the other way to try go round, but I don't remember this area very well, apparently, because I just end up at, like, the weird shortcut bit. You come back up, and I'm like, oh, you know, let's just kill him. I'm trying to think what weapons he has, so... Well, we're going to see. I think it's saw cleaver and just like a pistol, but you can like, well, basically cheat, I guess, by just shooting him off and stuff. But we're going to have a full on battle on the top of this, like Batman 1989 with Jack Nicholson style, you know? So bring it on. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, what is that? Time to. Oh, he just died, anyways. <laughs> that was underwhelming, but it's fine. I highly doubt it was going to be a challenge, anyways. The Hunter fights are pretty fun in this, though. The PvP is funny, especially at, like, uh, is it Nightmare of Mensis? I remember going to the final boss and some guy just turned up, like, I'm here to kill you. So I just, like, sent him around on the elevator for a bit. Don't shoot. Let's not kill the stupid AI hunter who just tries to drag you back. Here we are. This is, like, such a good, like, survival horror game, isn't it? This is what survival horror should have came came to be. Oh. Like, just loads of these scary games. Slapping things. Just slammed. Now. Parry. You dread. <clears throat> There's something very enjoyable. We're going to uh, focus on Arcane, by the way, I decided. Because we need that transformation to be pretty badass, but we'll mess about with the transformation a lot today. I just, I generally enjoy its untricked setup though, just smash, 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 especially when you get them tricked. Oh. Oh, here comes the gank squad. Oh, they'll see me. We'll let future me worry about that. Oh. This is for Jujura. For shooting people trying to annoy me. I think they poisoned me. No, don't. Oh. I've got like... I think I've got them on me, actually. Can you please... Can you please give me a moment? I'm wasting my antidotes on you. This is for the Bloodstuffed Beast. This is for Flappy Lips, you know? Ooh. Alright. I just died twice. With death, we won't go in there. But, like, how would I have beaten them before when I played this? Because there's, there's shitloads. Do you just not kill them? I don't know. Maybe, like, you'd have him in a line here or something. I just need to shortcut, though, so I don't have to go past them, I guess. I guess there's, a, there's, like, a lot. I don't know, like, what? Here it is, here. You gonna follow me up? Ah. I never learned to climb ladders. He definitely can't. It's just the first shortcut, then we'll get the second one on the way. Should be cool. We've got everything, so we might not need to, like, rest or anything. It takes us, like, right here. That's crazy. Hello. I guess we just messed up here for a little bit. What does old Yarnum have to offer? It's a bit like when you go to like Milton Keynes and you go to the shopping centre. You're like, oh wow. Whoa, oh hello. Milton Keynes! Yeah, it's just not very good. But it's indoors. It's all indoors, which is really cool. So that's that way. This is not the shortcut. Oh. A true gang squad today. You'll lose. Oh, 
Okay, R1 spam to death. Decent. I mean, we could just go around here. Is there a point? Not really. Oh, you know. All right. I think maybe it would be smart to go Henwick Channel Lane first before you do this, I guess. You don't want to take down Vicar Amelia. I can't find where I came from, by the way. Oh, there's the hunter. Oh, this way, he says. I think Henwick Channel Lane's so easy, which I might do next. But if you take down Vicar Amelia, everything's dark, right? I mean, it's pretty dark here. Well, kind of. But then what happens after that is obviously everything's dark, so you have to be like, oh, where am I, by the way? I'm not going in there. Yeah, so if you go Henwick Channel Lane, it's not like summer fun in the weird forest. We're just going to go the long way, by the way. I can't I can't find the shortcut I came from. Stupid. Oh, they're just like, where did he go? Well, there he is again. But yeah, that was a mistake I made. I took out Vic Amelia quite easily, uh, quite quickly as well. My first, like one, not my first playthrough, but like the second one or something. And like, it's just dark. I thought it's just the Forbidden Woods that's dark. So we'll do it as late as possible. So we'll probably do everything we can possibly do. So we've got now. We've got the Hypogen Jail. Jesus Christ, everyone. And we've got Henry Tart Lane and Victor Amelia. I think that's everything. And then it's Forbidden Woods. By the way, Hermit! I paused watching 13 Assassins for this. Come on. I ain't parried yet. Come on. Come on. You dumb bitch. I just being near them give you like a disease. Should we kill the crows? Let us You know what, come on, let's just kill all these get absolute revenge. Oh smash for this thing. A close second favourite is uh, the Hunter's Axe, I'd say. Hunter's Axe and Shotgun, so the Gascoigne build. I quite like that. I might do a, a Gascoigne one as well at some point. <clears throat> I think I have, like, everything from playing for it, but preparing for this anyways. I don't think I'd beat Ebriitis in my last playthrough, so beating her would be, like, a first time for this save. Incredibly exciting. Oh, look, there's... Is that what I think it is? Uh. They just scream, please put me out of my misery. Oh, there's a Bloodstuff Beast area, that's pretty close. Okay, cool. Well, we can leave here now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Interworld connectivity, you know? It's actually pretty good in Bloodborne. I know the first one like is the best for it, like Dark Souls 1, but Bloodborne has it really good. I, I feel like it doesn't really bother me in Dark Souls 2, it doesn't have that to be honest. Good evening. The fog, look, this is survival horror at best. Oh, Jeremy. Four sausages, Jeremy. Alright, they're dead. So we've got some werewolves coming out. I already hear them. 
I think there's a shortcut to Dark Beast Pile as well. Hmm. Alright, don't then. You did. Yeah, so this is the shortcut, I think. You know, I think I need to upgrade my rifle a lot. I've totally forgot about that. It's not like it's affected it. I highly doubt getting it maxed to be any good anyways. This is, yeah. The Dank Beast is back there. Do you remember anyone called Dank Beast Cow? Oh, yes. That was bloody funny. Go to sleep. Yeah, I have really lovely memories of playing this bit and just walking around slowly like, whoa, this is what I came to play like in like, just like old villagey looking or like sort of old school city in Yarnum. It's just perfection. I really love this game. And doesn't a werewolf like jump out here? <laughs> Dick. Okay, cool. We're very close to bust that beast. Let's get the shortcut ready, just in case I don't beat him, but I'm highly confident. Well, I've died twice today. I came into this with no deaths, like, oh yeah. I'm just gonna make my way here and kick his ass. And I killed Tajura first time, like, it could have been the best. Could have been the greatest, you know? Here it is. And I know exactly how to get here, you just drop down. Very easy shortcut, very nice. Though it does feel like one of those shortcuts where it's like longer than it should be. I feel like I'm spoiled for playing Elden Ring where it's just like, here, have a grace next to the boss wall. Weird they did that. Like in like Demon Souls you had to earn it, didn't you? Like this, this is the one, what's it called? It's not a bonfire, surely. Nexus stone or something, I don't know. Yeah, this is true horror. So cool. I, I can't even think of an old PS1 style horror game with this aesthetic. Like, besides nightmare creatures. Which is a very good game. So here we are, anyways, before I talk about Nightmare Creatures for an hour. It's like the best game I've played. There's Alfred. And we're going to go fight Bloodstock Beast. I think there's a few bitches around here. We're not going to kill him, man. We're, I am. Oh, man. I can't wait. Because of large health pools, this will be a good example of it. Where's my boy? Solaire, the sequel. Let's go. He doesn't even use the gear of God, does he? Oh, he's got his lovely hair and his Kirk hammer. Do we get a cutscene or not? Nah, it's just stood there. Are we ready? Yeah. This will be an example of what I want to show off anyways. Well, hello. Flappy. Oh. A few smashes, a few parries, and she did. I think I'm doing okay damage, but... The long fights make it very fun in this. Like it's just chaos, great. I 
Huggy is actually really helpful right now. Oh shit, itself again. No. Yes. Oh, he's doing it. Nice. I don't want to jinx it, but pretty easy but fun. Why that wasn't a parry? This time. This time. So I think he can poison you like all the time now, but we've got those bandits. I actually got more than this, so you know, over prepared for this. Go on, go on, go. Oh, you're hell slow, man. I'm coming to help you, bro. Help is on the way, dear. Help is on the way. Yeah, this is just pure chaos. I love it. He's no cat. He not heal himself. What an idiot. Move, Alfred. Let me have a bit of this bitch. Miss last the bag. Shit. Hang on. No, fight him. No, wait. Fuck off. Alright, I'm back, guys. <laughs> We're gonna give Alfred another go. That was pretty fun. I felt like a long time, man. It's like... When you lead up to it once, I have everything as well. I can't... Like, I'll have to watch the recording, but... Maybe I just didn't have enough health stuff. And that's why. Or I just played shit. Are you coming, fam? Maybe I'll cut it when I beat him. But you know, the greatest feeling is when you're running out of boss. Like, I'm here to kill you. Bitch. Come on. You're nothing. Oh, go on. Yes. Oh, I would have killed for that to be in the final. Come on. Can he die? I can't... I really want to watch the rest of 13 Assassins, man. Okay, he's dead. Hell yeah. I want to do a thing. Can't remember how to do it. Well done, bro. I love you. Nice. Nice. Epic. So we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watch. There is no spoon. Alright, guys. I am back. Um, I, I edited through the video. It really wasn't very long. I don't upload often enough to have like a like a what 30 minute video and stuff so we need something else to do today i have plans for cathedral warden henry charn lane but today we need something to do so i've decided well we're gonna ask santa claus <laughs> and we'll see what he has to say about what we can do today really yeah bitch where is he santa <laughs> there he is oh he's coming for a cuddle nice ow 
No Santa, please. Oh. No, oh, it was a good boy, Santa. And he takes me away. You know, when I was younger, my granny would like, when I'd be playing up around my grand's house, and she'd be like, oh, if you're not good, I'm going to phone Father Christmas. But with the information I have now, I'd well be like, well, fucking call him then. <laughs> have you got his number, have you? He must have taken us to the North Pole. Where's this little elf? Doesn't really look very North Pole, does it? Oh, oh, oh. No. So we need to find that girl, anyways. Wait. I thought there's like a way down. Ah. I just feel like I can't really prepare <laughs> for these videos more than I do by just playing it. Madman toils to spread the and rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. Yeah, well. Where is it? There's a girl we need to save, and I've got my healing church gear on anyways. Like, that's the other way. What the fuck? If I was a way down, where would I be? But we save her. We need to save the prostitute as well, but that's the future problem. We'll have to do another roundup, I guess. I mean, it's here, isn't it? That's cool. Oh, Give me. Oh, I got it. All right, milady, where are you? Do you like my triangle? Oh, by your God, the healing church. You've got to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. It's sure to please an upstanding member of the church like you. Oh, thank you so much, dear gods. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by a hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. So, the hunt is on tonight. The streets are perilous, and every door will be shut tight. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt. Kind hunt. All right, don't go on about it. Now we must face the horrors of the North Pole. Ugh. <laughs> so, really tough enemies here. Well, we need to fight bad guy. We need to get revenge on him. That's to uh, Dark Beast Pearl. So, we'll go there last. We'll come out here. There's just some shortcuts we need. Oh, excuse me, sir. We'll kick the shit into him now. Isn't he like nails? I don't think I've killed many of them when I've played this game. Dickhead. Oh dear. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. I would love to parry you. 
Why don't you just slow? I was I was generally worried about fighting that guy. Oh, I've killed one. I, no, excuse me, Santa. We need to like be careful. Oh, look, there's one of his elves. <sighs> if I kill one and don't fight anymore, then I won't. Uh, <laughs> it'll look like I'm good at the game. So there's two shortcuts we need because when we go and do the unseen village, I can hear you. Merry Christmas, man. <clears throat> go back to the workshop. Uh, another one. Oh, it's one of those guys that drop stuff that's like... Oh no, I've never found interest with these. I, I feel like the stuff they drop's never very good. Any of any game. Here's Twinkling Titanite. I'm not a Twinkling Titanite guy. So here's the shortcut. There's one more we need to get as well. And then, I mean, out here, probably... We're going to see all this when we do the Unseen Village. Do we really want to fight, like... The diabetes pigs. Why not? When you fist one pig, you fist them all. So we need to goat. Goat. So he's got his dogs. We don't want to fight him, but we want to kill the dogs. He's very slow. There's a meme when you get one here. Jesus. No. Alright, bye Santa. There's just like an old meme that comes out every year and it's just a picture of Santa Claus and it's just like, night shift tonight, fucking raging. <laughs> so we're just both on Christmas Eve. It's not funny, it seems funny to me though. And this is the other shortcut. And then we're gonna fight Pearl. Decent. Well. Do they like have a spoon? I don't even know what they do, but they just hit your spoons. Like, I think they're trying to gouge your eyes out. I think that's fair. I mean, do you want to fight these idiots? What are you doing down here, anyways? They've got the like lazy worker vibes, didn't they? You go work and like they just do nothing until you see the manager and they're like, I'll oh, just start sweeping. Look, I'm sweeping. That's what this place needs. A good sweep. Cool. All right. I mean, excuse me. Enjoy your meeting. Here we go. And we get summoned for this as well, which I'm going to summon again. I don't care. Oh yes, Detective Anal, my favorite NPC. But I'm gonna openly say this is generally a really hard boss, like... I think so. Oh, he's got some cool gear on. Not as cool as mine, but, you know. We'll take down the wonky dog. Where's Detective Anal? Oh, there he is. Alright, let's... Uh, Jesus Christ. It's like re and everything. It's like 186 in his health. Oh. Now yeah, you're only one good detective. He's doing it again. I think we can. I think you can cancel that out, but I can't apparently. Come on, man.
That's how you do it. Get it? Like when? When are you supposed to come here? Just do it later. <laughs> when the fuck do you go? We've got to fight that stupid thing now. We could have been at Hemwick Channel Lane right now, taking in the sun, fighting stupid witches. Now we're here fighting Electro Doggo. He's, he's one of those dogs, you know what I mean? You should re- you should re them. You should foster a dog. Don't get a cute puppy that you love so much. You know, when you get one from, like, they're just lovely and cute, and they'll, you teach them, like, you train them the way you want them to be, and you're all nice and they're lovely. No, just get, get one from the foster home that's, like, scared of everything and bites people. Like, some other person has just been an absolute ass and treated like shit. And then you have to look after it. Oh, nice. Something's talking just makes me bear this game, I swear. I have a rescue. I had two. I had two. The one I got as a pup, she died sadly. But the second one, he was a rescue in like the, the first six months of having that dog. Oh my god. I love it a bit. You should rehome the dog. I'm only half. Oh, Detective Anal, no! Oh no. Okay guys, I'm back. I've been at this for quite a while to be honest with you, but I'm guessing we're going to beat him now because what I did was I went to the Come Dungeon and got 25 in Arcane, so we can use our transformed thing, so we should totally kick his ass now and, you know, it's all good. All right, guys, I'm back. This has been a nightmare. There's only one tactic left, and that's the Beast Blood Pellet. I wanted to save it for much later, but I've decided that I can't be bothered. I have Night Shift later. Yeah, you dirty bitch. I've got loads of practice in as well, though, so having it recorded now is going to be good. That second the trick weapon is no good. It has to be pure strength build until I get like much higher for the series. <laughs> But Beast Blood Pellet should really help us. I'm playing bad, but my tactic. Oh no. Let's just not talk and fight him, but. Basically, Detective Anal cannot die. And I really like. I need to get him, smash, 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 and get away, but he's so fast, man. No. He's gone. Shit, man. Please. Back to the pound. Three home, my dog. Let me get this. Oh, sh oh, yes. Don't be the baby. It's just, as soon as Detective Anal, who I've said a few times now, it's, if he dies, it, it just gets very hard. So he needs to have really low health for me to, like, fight him one on one without being a baby. The distraction helps a lot in this. He's not someone I particularly go after when I replay these games, to be honest. Oh. 
Yeah, I feel it. I feel it apparently. I think we I think because he's a beast as well. Well, I guess he's a beast. Or is he an old one? Because he used to be a person called like Carl apparently. But I feel like Oh no. If I didn't just do blunt damage and something sharp I might do more. Detective Anal, no! Alright. You know what? I've got so many heals, there's no excuse, man. Let's fucking do this. Hello, beast. Yeah, I, you know what? I really struggle to get past that shit. No. Hmm. Are you just like dodge for it? He is playing with me, mate. All right. Come on. It's these swipes. Maybe I'm kind of baiting into because I play shit. <laughs> Mm. Come on. Give Granny a kiss. You know, have you considered not being really electric? Yes! This is the one. Yeah, we go. Bitch. Oh, he's no longer left. Fuck it, I <laughs> There's no tactic when you're an executioner. You just smash. This is what it's all about. Come on. That means nothing to me. Right, it's the sweeps. Mm. It's silent. Hell yeah. Oh, that was hard. But we have a new video to upload. Well, I do anyways. Fuck me. And that's the shortcut. I mean, because it connects all, John. Technically, this was good to put all in one video, no matter how stressful it was. I just qualified for nationals in disabled bench press competitions this Sunday. This was harder than that. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching. There is no spoon. <sighs> And I see you soon.